the Urban Traffic Control Centre is based in Wolverhampton Civic Centre. Uh, we recently located here from Heaton House, which was located over the markets, and uh, we've been here now for the getting on for 18 months. So we've had traffic signals in Wolverhampton since 1927. Wolverhampton was one of the first locations in the country to have automated traffic signals. We work at a two-man split shift, so the, the guys will come to work at seven o'clock in the morning and they'll look for faults across the network. They'll handle the morning peak and try and uh, make your journey to work as good as it possibly can be. Then throughout the day, they'll look at a range of faults across the system or they'll try and provide a lot of information to the different types of road users uh, before repeating the, the journey home of a night and then closing down the system at seven o'clock. We also use VMS signs to provide information to the travelling public and to try and influence their road use choice, um, advising of road conditions, of journey times and generally providing useful information in terms of road safety messages and just providing reminders throughout the year for various different uh, events. So what you're looking at here is the wall map and basically this displays all the CCTV imagery that we have directly uh, to support our role in managing traffic across the Black Country area. So there's a range of cameras. We have in the region of 150 cameras uh, located principally through Wolverhampton and Walsall and Dudley and with a few cameras just dotted through Sandwell. So we use the cameras to um, identify key issues that are on the network and then to look at specific problems at a junction in terms of any queuing traffic. Uh, we're able to then interface using the computer system with that junction and to alter the signal timings accordingly to try to improve the situation for if there's a car broken down on the approach that we can move the traffic in a better way past that car by giving it more green time than what it would usually get under typical circumstances. The one thing the computer system that we have does is it automatically calculates the time that each approach needs because it operates a system called SCOOT. Now SCOOT is an adaptive system that calculates the signal timings across a junction but then across a range of junctions and it looks to optimise those signal timings to improve the journey through those junctions and obviously there should be less stops and starts along that corridor which then smooths the flow of traffic which ultimately reduces the emissions from those vehicles. Yeah. The, the guys who operate the service would actually interface with the junction and manually change the particular timings on that approach using a, a range of computer systems that we outlined earlier. So we, we work quite closely with the West Midlands Police, we work closely with the communications team and so when we, we record an event that has occurred on the highway we share that information immediately through an electronic fault log that we, we pass that information directly to those contacts and then they can use a range of social media and different forms of communication. Pedestrian countdown times were introduced by the uh, TfL, Transport for London, and they were there as a safety feature to allow pedestrians to be provided with more information before the signals change away from pedestrian green. I think the important thing to remember about the urban traffic control is it's not going to stop queues developing across the network. It's all about working together to minimise that journey time and to improve the, the city as a place to work and also a place to visit.